Hello there, everyone. How's it going today? I hope y'all are well. Hello, Tosi B, Zeriki, and Tracy Lee. That rhymed. How's everyone doing today? I hope y'all are well on this Friday evening. Good to see you there. Good to see everyone. It's already early in the stream, but gotta remind... Is the camera good? Camera's good now. There we go. Gotta remind. Hydration is key. Stay hydrated. Don't dehydrate. I am doing well, Tracy. Thank you for asking. I'm glad that you are as well. I'm glad that you're well, Zergi. Good. Have water. Have water today, not just yesterday. Yes, playing in the snow. I wish I could do that. It's only 58 down here. It's not cold enough for snow. It's Texas. It rarely gets cold enough for snow. But, yes. Um, let's see. Mine is all over the place today, but I'm in a good mood, so... Yes. Let me think. Uh, Twitch Studio, which is the, pro the software I use for live streaming, got an update, which is why the chat bar looks a little bit different in the bottom corner. It is actually built into Twitch Studio now, instead of me using what I was using last time. And... Yeah, only 58. It also got an update, which is why you saw the transition be a little fade in and fade out thing. So, fanciness. I'll probably end up playing around with it just a little bit more. Maybe, maybe not. I played around with it earlier and got it to a good place where I liked it. At some point, I'll play around with the layout more. It's kind of simple. I mean, simplicity isn't bad, but like it's... You know, you know what I mean, right? Gotta make it look nice for those people coming in. But, yes. It's good to be hanging out with y'all today. I wanted to do this. And Zergi and I agreed that we would do Alien Isolation tomorrow, as long as plans don't massively change. Haven't done that in a little bit, so I hope you can look forward to that as well. But for the time being today... I will be starting up Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which is the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest. And number five on my top favorite video games of all time. That game was great. Yes, it is indeed, Zig. Yes. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Very good. If you guys liked Ori and the Blind Forest, you'll like this one even more. It has better combat, actual boss fights, better graphics, and even stronger soundtrack. And Ori and the Blind Forest have the decent soundtrack in the first place. So, yeah, it's good. I, it hasn't even been a year since I played it. I played it six months ago in Zoom. And I liked it. I was invested in it. And it is honestly a serious roller coaster of emotions. It is all up and down and all over the place. Even in the, just the side quests, because hey, side quests, those are a thing now. You know what else is a thing? Kitty girl, who just isn't in frame right. She's here. She's here. She's, she's like, right. She's there. Esther. Esther, kitty kitty. Yeah, yeah, she's over there. But, yes. It's good stuff. Alright, camera, calm down a little bit. But yeah, this this will be good. I'm glad to be able to do this. Um, probably increase that. Need to adjust it. I can. Um. <laughs> yes. I had to set up a lamp behind my compute my monitors today because the ceiling fan light is out and I don't know how to replace that one. My dad does and he has not gotten around to it the past couple of days just because busy and sleep and all that. Yes, that's right. You know what else is a great opportunity? Jumping into Ori and the Will of the Wisps. You can't wait, Zergi. No more waiting. 
No more waiting. Once, once it detects. Come on, come on. Launch scheme. Don't just prepare to launch it. Actually do the launch. I tested it earlier. It loaded fine. Yeah, it's a nice little background, isn't it? Pretty simple, but pretty pleasant. Well, it's actually not my computer wallpaper. My computer wallpaper is uh, very different. That's just, hang, hang on, camera, what, what camera, I'm trying to get the camera at a good angle. And Esther just stumped off my very shaky folding table, which is what my computer setup is on. Um, hang on a second. But this is actually, the wallpaper is just a Steam implemented thing. Like I could actually change that and have it be like, a, what else is there? But yeah, there's a, let's see. There were a handful of ones here. I just, uh, what was there? Oh yeah, there's, there's like, I could go with that. Or I could go with, uh, where, oh, where, there were more, uh, I could go with that. And there, there are a large handful of other possibilities here. But I, I just like the, the mountain and moon. I thought that was a good basic one. Um, hang on a second. It's, it's having some difficulty. Pardon the uh, mm -hmm, technical difficulties. Don't mind me. So that's having some difficulty with the cloud save file. I mean, I already have, I beat the game and it's fine, but like it, I, I loaded this earlier and it was fine. It was absolutely fine. I'm going to try rebooting Steam real quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Sorry about this. Having some... Uh, Mm hmm I tested it. <laughs> I tested it. It was fine. I don't know what it's doing. What you be doing? So I'm just closing Steam entirely and rebooting it. Yes, space and water. But yeah, if you guys if you guys wanted to see, um, I, I can show my screen background later. But yes, actually, I can probably share like this. My actual computer wallpaper is hang on one second ba -ba -ba. What did I save that as mm, it's it's in here I'm just waiting on steam to reboot which is why I'm taking my time just messing around like this don't mind me Where is the thing? Oh yeah, it wasn't in this folder. I don't know where it is. It's connected to Steam somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I know you have no complaints, Zeragi, but other people might. <laughs> What is it doing? What 
what kind of games have I been planning on playing after I finish these? That is a very good question. I have a few written down here. Uh, I have a few Metroid fan games, one of which is a very well-known one that was copied, uh, had a copyright strike against it years ago. And one is a very small one, well, I'm very small as in very little known. The game is good-sized, and that's pretty good. Um, I have those. I have a Metroidvania called Axiom Verge, which I plan on doing at some point. I have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Um, and there are various other things that I might drop in from time to time. If I can get some people I can interact with regularly, then... Well, other people I can... Well, both, both friends who I can interact with and fellow streamers who I can interact with. And then there are multiplayer things I could do. There are... I just lost my train of thought. I can do like a Link to the Past, randomizers, other Zelda games. At some point, I'm going to do the Metroid Prime trilogy on stream. I'm just hoping they'll release it for Switch because that would be easier for me to stream. Otherwise, I have to figure out how to set up everything so I can have the Wii most can controls in this setup, which is not the easiest thing. Also, Steam is having difficulty. Good grief. Maybe it's a Steam having difficulty, which is an issue because both games are connected to Steam. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. Come on. The Long Dark. What is that one about, Tosi? Here we go. Steam just went. Steam finally decided to run. Now can I get Ori to work? Can I get that to work? Yes, I can. There we go. I just had to restart Steam. Here we go. Now we're good. Interesting, Tosi. Alright, is it just me or is the game volume quiet? Yeah, I thought so. Hang on one second. That's yeah, quiet to me, too. How about that? Is that better? Because I can't really turn this up more. That's a good volume. Just want to confirm one last time before I actually get into it. A little lower. Um, just want to confirm before I jump into the game too much. Okay, fair enough. I mean, hard is cool, but like, I'm, I'm definitely not going to do easy. Normal is what I'm sticking with. Thank you very much. Hey, Ori. I appreciate that at the very beginning of the game, you start it, and it starts with the exact same background as the main menu. I thought that was a really nice transition. Also, let's just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of this game. Thank you, God, for giving for allowing me to have such a nice computer to run this beautiful game at maximum capacity graphics. 
Look at the details on the leaves, the glow around Ori, the water below, the light shining through the trees. The particle effects, the adorable triple jump, the bouncy log. It just, it just, and like. And Ori does an adorable little flip if you do a backwards jump. Look at that. And then if you triple jump three times, each jump is unique. You have to love it. Or like, remember the thing about the triple jump from before? Hang on, I messed it up. Still the exact same thing. Every jump is unique. And it ends in the trip, it ends in the flip later. Hey, it's the dude again. Hey, buddy boy. Oh, I'll just take my word for it. I couldn't pull it off there. Yeah, it was just... There it was. There's the flip I was talking about. But it, it's Gumo. Was that his name? I think that was his name. It's the friend man. And we automatically start off with the wall jump this time. Look at the... Look at the twirl off of the wall jump. Look at the de- let's just- The details. Little details like that are why I love this game. Or one of the reasons why. This is one of many. Just like, oh yeah, you want to do a wall jump in the opposite direction? You got a few different flip options, like a twirling in place, or that little somersault thing. It's great. But yeah, you just start off with the wall jump. And look at the- it's pretty! Yeah, I don't like the game at all, Zergy. That's very accurate, Tosi. Look at them! Oh, cute little bird! Picking up where Blind Forest left off. So cute. They named her Koo. Koo is cute. And of course, so is Ori. Look at that. Look at that. It's precious. It's precious. I think it's Gumo, but I don't remember for sure. Can anyone confirm? Maybe just a quick Google search or something? Do the good things, Koo. Oh, Koo has fear of heights. It's okay, little bird. Learn how to fly. Attempt it. Well, but the la la that left wing doesn't look quite right. You'll notice that. Oh. Good attempt, though. Good attempt. Oh, fall. Pretty leaves. I like fall. All right, cool. I did remember correctly. Look at them. They're just a happy family. But Koo doesn't want fruit. Koo does not like fruit. Koo almost got it. There are grubs. Koo likes the grubs. Look at Gumo's face. He was just so shocked and appalled. Look how pretty! This game legitimately has some of my favorite graphics out of any video game in existence. And I don't say that lightly. Look how pretty! Look how pretty! You want a game that's a piece of art? This game is a freaking piece of art! Look who wants to fly, but that, that right wing isn't quite right. The wing isn't quite right.
So you want to keep on trying to teach her to fly. Keep trying. But that right wing just isn't working. It doesn't... It, it's deformed. It doesn't have feathers fully or something. Aw, oh, poor Koo. Oh, poor Koo needs hugs. Yeah, I definitely don't like the game. I don't like the game at all. Oh, look at them. They're all so sad for her. Ori will help. Ooh, look, fireflies. Look at the lighting! Even, like, the lighting around Ori is different from the sunlight in the background. It's so good. Ori feels bad. Aww. Who needs hugs? Ori is good friend. Yes, the water. Ori is a good friend to Koo. Very cute. And then Ori has an idea. Random junk. Kuro's feather. Final gift. Hey, Koo! Present! What if... What if... <laughs> Look at him. Cute. I like it! Gumo! Gumo, wake up, buddy! Wake up! We have idea. We want your help. It's like, oh, this might work! I love this game. <laughs> How does that feel? Oh yes, let's just, let's just jump into the deep end, carry someone with it to see if it works. And you can glide in the air in the same way that you could with Kuro's Feather, it's the exact same button. I know what you mean. One single flap and then a glide. Couldn't ever fly before, but hey! Oh, is this... I, I don't think I ever caught this before. A nice little nest area. Or something. Ready, you just jump and you glide. Jump and glide. Never even flown before. Immediately carries a passenger. Seems like a safe idea. There you go. It worked though. Guma's into it. Hello, spirit tree. Ah, they got it, Nuru. 
Well, look, there's the big water tree thing that I did in the first game where the flood came. It's so pretty! I know what you mean, Tosi. I know what you mean. I mean, it's the exact same sort of thing with Link in Breath of the Wild and his glider and other things. How do you like that lighting, Zergi? There's that fire area. It's not the weight that helped, Tracy. It's the extra. It's the old. It's her mother's feather that helped. The weight would make it harder. I don't, Zergi, but I'll bet it's a lot. I also have strong compute. Well, that looks ominous, but pretty still. I don't think you want to be flying into that on your very first flight ever. Your very first successful flight. Oh, there went the feather. That's not that's not what you want. Mm, Rory got it though. Oh, there went the feather fully. Oh, that's a big fall. That's the name of the piece of music. Those guys so much! These are like the best guys in the entire game. Other than Ori himself. That's a bad sound though. I know that sound. That's a bad sound. You don't know what that is yet, and you won't for a little while, but that's a not good. Hello! So cute. You already know there's something different. A, a, the X, Y, and B buttons have logos next to them. You'll be able to assign different abilities to those buttons and swap them out because there are a lot in this game. Yes, you did draw one of those at one point, Zergi, because I commented on how much I liked them. Is this the way to go? What's the other way? I don't remember what the other way is. Ah, yes. Health. Yes, life orb for health. Very good. And this thing. Spirit light. It is no longer experience, like with the skill tree last time. It is practically an in-game currency. You trade it with NPCs that you find for different abilities. And it's very good. That might be the way that I need to go. What's the other way? Always gotta ask what the other way is. We got a big thing of spirit light down there. What is it? I don't I can't fight though. I can't fight. There's a life cell. Oh wait, no, this is the way to go. I remember this part. This is the way that I'm supposed to go. What's the other way? I have no attacking ability. So that's an interesting little thing that this game has. Starts you off, no way to defend yourself. What do you think of that? Can't get through there. Oh, that's a that's a fall. And maybe I didn't want to go this way. Maybe this is the way. I don't know. I don't remember. 
It's been six months since I played this game. This was at the very beginning. Oh, we recognize that for later. That's a bashing lantern thing. Well, there's sign. I guess we should follow sign, huh? Oh, hello, little place. This is neat little place. Someone must live here. Or something. Are those maps? They look like maps. Oh, by the way, little thing. This game uh, definitely got some inspiration from Hollow Knight. This game came out after Hollow Knight did. And it definitely learned some stuff from it. Oh, it's those guys. Hello. Hey, I'm going to take a torch, though. And a torch is going to be my weapon from the very beginning of the game. And look at the... How... Get the Zergi, again, again. Lighting. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. It's great. Also, yeah, this is my first weapon of the game. And it catches enemies on fire, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I can't go in here yet. I need the keystones. Smack! I can't go in there. But I can go this way, because I can get through that. Oh hey, it's a guy bro man. Look, it's Toki. What are you now? Not a Moki, clearly. Not even from Nywin, are you? I visited most lands near and far, not seeing your kind. Come from across the water, maybe? Well, whatever you are, I'm Toki. A wanderer in these parts. The better parts, at least. I'm taking shelter from that storm myself, but if you're thinking of going further, you'll have to get through that spirit gate over there. It has the same sort of talking thing that the Hollow Knights did. Well, the Hollow Knight characters did, where it's just random gibberish, but it still gives character. You'll need two keystones. I happen to have one in my bag, and there's another in the cave to the west. But acquiring it is a job for someone more nimble than myself. What do you say? And then this is the first thing of, hey, guess what? Quests are a thing in this game. Look at this inventory space, by the way. And then spirit shards, things. Spirit shards, when you we get them, are basically like charms in Hollow Knight. FYI. Burn! Burn! What's that? Secrets. I'll take that. There are lots of thorns. Look at the graphics, though. It's so pretty. Got an energy orb. That's good. I can't save yet. But, yes, that's good. I think I wouldn't notice that! Oh, hey, it's one of those creatures from the first game. Except with better graphics now. I like the music. Yeah, the torch is coming in handy, isn't it? Yes, lighting Zergi. Did you see me doing this? Did you see that? Lighting. And yes, the waterfall. It just put out my torts. Oh yeah, blue moss, that's a thing. You can climb upside down on the blue moss. It's, it's, it's neat. 
Unfortunately, it just put out my torts, but it's fine. It'll be fixed later. I can't go that way yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! You see that thing up there? That blue glowing crystal? That's something that will be that's a new collectible in this game. That will be useful for side quests later. I just can't get it right now. There we go. I got a keystone. Quests. Hello, Thingo. Oh, I didn't mean to fall. That's not what I wanted. Now I need to go back around the long way. I have to see more of this. I have to see the pretty area again. Oh, what a shame, right? Can you believe I have to see this part again? Such a terrible misfortune. Hi, Thing. I cannot fight you because my torch went out. Ah, you're back! Is that a keystone I see? Here's one more for your trouble. I am ever a bird of my word, huh? Now I can continue my waterings through Nywin's lost wonders before we lose any more. You can carry on with uh, whatever it is you're doing. Good luck! I did thing. I did the good thing. Hello. There we go. Oh, look at that in the background there. Oh, big thing. That's a thing for later. This game basically in the very... This is practically a tutorial for this game, this area. And it gives you an idea of what you'll be coming... What you'll be dealing with throughout the game. <laughs> yes, there was something in the background. I don't know if you saw it or not. That's what was in the background. Time for an escape sequence. Hi! Hi! Oh, it hit me! Ah! I'm running! I'm running! Oh! Torts! Boss fight! I want to say this thing's name is Snarl, but I don't remember for sure. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, there's someone lost there. There, we have spectators, and not just in the chat. Look at the mo the guys in the background there. I smacked it away. I think it didn't like the fire. I think it liked the fire. No, it didn't like the fire. I think it disliked it enough to run. Thing. Oh yeah, Howl, that's its name. I got the name wrong at first. And now we're headed right into its den. We just fought that thing and now we gotta go down where it lives. Look at the skeletons in the background. And that I'm walking on. And literally everywhere. Isn't that pleasant?
Oh, hi, little guy. Hi. Is this the way that I should be going? Yes, it is. Recognize this thing? It should look similar to something you know, but better. It's a spirit tree. No little companion for this game. You're your own fighter. Which is better. <laughs> so ancient light awakened. Naru and Gokumo shot through the night. They're okay. Oh, poor Nuru. Look, look, that's the way they went. Ready to meet my favorite characters more? Look at them, they're so cute! They're so cute, I like them! You are not like the others. The Shrieker, the Howler. In you signs an ancient light. The tree you remembered, it knowed, it glowed. It has shared its memory with you. And then... I hold the button, and I assign it to this. Or this, I assign it to this. Now use the light. We want to see. That's also the name of the track, I think. So, uh, yeah. First ability of the game. It's literally a sword of light. How you like that? Now I can defend myself with a stinking sword of light. I need Ori and Super Smash Brothers just because of these sorts of abilities. Ori actually plays in the exact same sort of way I would expect. It, it has the same sort of combat mechanics. Like you got the air, the normal moves, aerials. It's good stuff. And it's fun. I like this game. Give me all that. Again, this is one of my favorite parts about the game, is the combat. And there are so many different weapons you can get, or attacks rather, throughout the game, that it never becomes stale. And even with the basic ones, it's always great. magnet. Okay, so this is the first spirit shard. So now the orbs will float to me, like they did in the first. It's like, you can actually pick stuff up now from a distance without having to walk over it all. Yes, the color is very good. Hello, friends! The light listens to you. You must be a spirit after all. We Moki thought all the spirits had gone from Nywin. Gone away. So long, spirits. You seek someone. We know a finder. The Great One. Great and Mossy. Go to the Guardian of the Marsh. Qua uh, Quolock. Uh, uh, Quo yeah, Quolock will help you on your way. I think that's how you say it. Quolock? I think it's I think it's cool lot. I have not been down yet. 
Down is a way I could go. What is below? Does anybody know? Smack. The aerial combos actually allow you to attack more and to attack slightly faster, I think. Because this is good, but it kind of slows down. This just... I don't know. Maybe that's just in my head, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, Zergy. That, do that doesn't sound quite right. The great part, yes, but Mossy... I would be concerned if any individual I knew got mossy. Oh hey look, he's stone. Go on to things, stone. I'm sure that this floating thing can support you just fine. Okay, so clearly I can go that way, but what's this way? What was in the other direction? I like that even the classic enemies look nicer in this game. The light from the wells runs all through Nightwind. It joins! It heals! And you guys are super cute! I love the Moki! I seriously love the Moki! As soon as I saw them, I knew... Okay, the, or at least as soon as I start interacting with them, rather, I knew, oh, this game is already better than the first one. It has actual characters. And they're adorable. And the fact that there are side quests, and no more experience points and whatnot. Just, it's just so good. Oh, I'm trapped in here. So this is a thing occasionally too. Forced combat trials, where you have to defeat a little onslaught of enemies. They're not boss fights, they're just uh, enemy rushes. Hollow Knight had this sort of thing too. Oh, I died it. Oh yeah, that's a thing too. You can just swing it and swing to the side, but if you crouch and then swing, it does like that cool jab effect. And it has a slightly longer range and whatnot. It's like a stab, a poke sort of thing. I think I just did that one without taking damage after dying it to it the first try. I like this game. <laughs> Hello. Where should I head? I should head in the direction. Oh, that direct that that's probably a good direction to head. What do you think? That, that might be a good direction. Double jump. Already got that. So here, here's another thing. Will of the w uh, Blind Forest had a lot of mobility. This one has even more so. A lot more so. And you get those mobility upgrades a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely don't like this game or anything. Obviously not. Obviously. Upgrades are quite good. Get out of here with that. And everything's blowing in the wind. You got little particle effects from the vines. The vines themselves are kind of moving. 
the mushrooms are bouncing, you got particles everywhere. Look at the, the lighting! Even the weapon has lighting. And like you can smack the leaf, and it looks like little shards of the leaf go flying off. Just, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously I hate it. Obviously. Why would I ever say that I like this game? Hmm. No, it's not a perfect theme. I do have my complaints about it at points. But... It is pretty stinking good. Smack and smack. Ow. Don't do that. That was, that was not a nice... That was not a nice thing to do. That's a nice thing to do, though. Here we go. I think there was actually a secret up there that I might have missed. Like in the wall, maybe? I'm not positive. What I am sure of is that this needs to go that way to block the laser. Don't crush me. You got close to crushing me. Don't do that. There we go. Actually, how do I get back up? Probably climbing the opposite wall. Probably a good place to start. Okay, that's not a secret. I thought it might have been, but... the right way? Yes, I am. Hi, Thingo. Hi, Thingo. I never liked you anyway. The flips and jumps are great, aren't they? Like, even... Just jumping three times in one spot is different. Just that level of detail is one of the things that appeals to me so much about this game. They didn't have to make it so that such a simple such a simple accent had multiple possibilities that all stood out. But they did. It really is that they put a lot of love and care into making this a really good game. And it really shows. Exactly, Zeriki. It really shows. Like, again, Blind Forest did good. And uh, it's a good game, but the passion just shows far more in this than it did in the first. Also, there's a path there, but I want to see what's over here. Like, again, if this was in Super Smash Brothers, this would be able to uh, knock a, a, a player out. Just, just... Ori for Smash. Please. And the soundtrack is just... It's gorgeous. And honestly, the final boss of this game 
has what might be my favorite final boss theme of any video game that I have ever played. I don't say that lightly. This is up against things like Hopes and Dreams from Undertale. And a large handful of beautiful pieces from like Breath of the Wild. And which is also hot up there. That one's... Oh yeah, those things explode when you kill them. I forgot about that. Breath of the Wild also has a fantastic final boss theme. As do a handful of other games. But like, this one... This one is at least top 5 if it's not... Number one. It goes kaboom. Thank you for the health. Um, that's the way I came. Ooh, yes, please. I will take that permanent health upgrade, thank you very much. Oh yeah, no, it's half of one. You have to collect two in order to get the actual health upgrade. And the game automatically saves at points. I don't remember if there is a manual save option or not in this game. Honestly, I don't remember. It There might not be one. Other than, like... Hmm. I don't remember. What's quick access? Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, there's a there's a Sans outfit in Super Smash Brothers. That's a thing. They just added a Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII to the game as a playable character, and a handful of other costumes as well. You cannot hide the secret from me. Oh, hello. Now I'll take that permanent health upgrade. And more of that pretty music. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Are you a spirit? Then shrimple spirit, you stand before Mok the Brave. It, it is not very convincing, I know, but I am brave, or I would be with a trophy. A trophy like a howl skull, or just a fang if that's too heavy. I heard the howler fighting to the east. Maybe you dropped one? So now uh, there, there are side quests all throughout the game. Like this guy wants me to go to where I fought Howl before to see if it dropped a, a fang in our fight. Which it did, but I don't remember if it's right here or if it's up there. I suppose I can go up here anyway, though. Where, where was the fang? It's around somewhere. Is there anything worth going back for? Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, Map Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Map Man. So this game also pulls from Hollow Knight, and is like, here, instead of just finding a stone with the map on it, and uh, all that, we're going to create a character that goes around making maps, and then you have to get it from him. So you have to find the character each time, instead of just... Yeah. It, it, it's another Hollow Knight thing. Reckless. Steal more and take more damage. I don't like taking more damage, so I'm not going to do that. 
it's a get it's it's a trade-off and one that I'm not a huge fan of personally it's my personal choice and nothing more look how pretty though you can even hear birds singing in the background. Look at this. Look at that. It's a pretty game. Hey, buddy. Manush. Greetings, traveler. I am Lupo, map maker extraordinaire. Quite the storm that passed through. My maps are a little soggy, so I'll give you half off, agreed? After all, rumor has it you're looking for a friend. What's better for finding things than a map? Care to purchase a map of these fine things for 50 spirit light? I have 10 times that, so yes. You don't like the map maker's eyes? Th that's fair. That's fair. Bill Cypher, yes. So, uh... Yeah, um, this is all one single section of the game. Game is big. This is not the edge of it. At all. Game is big. Oh, I should have kept going back there. This is the way that I need to go. I'm, not the, I'm gonna do the side quest first. Um, maybe? Can I do the side quest yet? I actually don't remember. Oh yeah, doesn't this, uh... This does something. It's already there. Oh uh, yeah! I forgot about that. You get two things from the same tree. This one, so if you remember uh, the save points, this is the exact same sort of thing. Actually, no. I'll tell you what it is. It's Hollow Knight focusing. It is literally Hollow Knight focusing. That's part of- okay. This is probably part of why I ended up liking Hollow Knight more after giving it a break for a while. Because I beat this one in between my first attempt of Hollow Knight and my replay of Hollow Knight. My second attempt, which is what I streamed. I got used to this game and how it worked and enjoyed it. And Hollow Knight uses a lot of the same details. So like, and it makes sense that it would. Because Hollow Knight is a game that revived the Metroidvania genre, kind of, sort of, and was one of the best Metroidvanias that people have seen in years. So, yeah, there's the thing. So... Yeah, it makes sense that a sequel to a Metroidvania that was good would pull from ideas that a previous Metroidvania had that did really good. Your Mook. Oh, a real howl thing. None will doubt Mook the Brave now. This is for you. I am brave, but I am also generous. Golurk Ore is the other collectible that I mentioned previously that we saw on the map that I couldn't get to yet, right over here. It's a collectible that is used throughout the game. Uh, well, not throughout, just for one character in the best area of the game for side quests. We'll be getting to that area before too terribly long, question mark? 
I don't remember exactly when you get to it, but it's not like super far into the game. No, no. I don't need to fight you. Okay, I will. Because now you're just blocking my way. Look at that lighting. And then, yeah, you can just focus and heal. Get out of here. Hello. Okay, there's a thing over this way with some sort of collectible. It's a shard! Resilience! Requ e yes, reduce damage taken. I will never turn down to something of that nature. Yeah, you heal at the cost of this, uh, the spirit essence or whatever it's called. I will never turn down the ability to reduce damage, unless it has a bad trade-off that I just don't want. Which definitely does happen. Let's see, there's that area back there that I could go to, but I know that this is the progression, and I don't remember what all is back there actually. Maybe I'll take a little peek. I like the music in this area. I like the music throughout this whole game. Like, this game has such a stellar soundtrack. There's a reason why this game was in the running this year at the Game Awards for best uh, soundtrack. It. Best music, I think, is just what it was. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they had some really good artistic talent on this game, didn't they, the Sergi? And I tell you, they do that later, too. There's a scene later that's supposed to be really sad, and they just take so much of the saturation out, and it's just, it's genius, and you just feel it. Oh, yep, I need, I need the bass ability before I can go that way. That's right. I knew there was a reason. But I wasn't positive. The sun sign does look really good, yes. Ooh, no, I did not mean to go down here. No thank you, game. Not right now. Because I can't swim in poisoned water. This is the way. This is the way from Mandalorian. Lighting. Look at the view. Come to see the view? Splendid, isn't it? The wellspring and all of her magnificence. A whole generation of Moki have come and gone since the old mill's wheels last turned. And they say an impressive library sits with them. Hi! Hi! 
What shriek doing all the way out here? Something must have stirred her from her roost. Some threat, perhaps? Not you, Surly. You look harmless. We should fix that. Luckily for you, I just happen to be a weapon master. Interested in honing your skills? I can offer a deal on your first purchase only, so choose wisely. This is the weapon merchant of the game. Or the skill merchant, rather. You get There are different abilities that are get op offered all throughout the game that you trade your spirit energy for and you get things and they're good things and they're cool and they're all combat related a few later on are mobility related and all of them also get upgrades later on so I already know what I'm going to go with because it's what I used last time and I always used it even later in the game when I got to a point where I could buy all of them and use all of them easily I still stuck to using that because it's what I got used to and it was so good and the others are okay so this is similar the sensory is similar to sign from the first game with it's just the beams that attack things except the thing is it's not something you can control it's more of like a drone you summon it it does the thing you attack with your sword it's okay and it uses spirit energy, which I don't have a lot of in the first place. It also uses spirit energy. It's like a boomerang type thing. You throw it out, it comes back, it does good stuff. Blaze, I remember buying this and thinking, hey, this will be good. It turned out to be not quite as good as I thought. It creates a little aura flash thing that sets enemies on fire, which is good. Not as good as you might think, really. Uh, this is the spike, which also uses energy. Notice how they almost all use energy, and this throws a very strong spear, and destroys unstable ground, which is nice. I don't get an upgrade for that until a little while later. Actually, never mind. Uh, and it's a good attack. This is like my favorite one of them other than the main one, which is the Spirit Smash, which is basically a hammer, which is my favorite. It takes no energy, which is why I went for it in the first place, and it's just a really strong attack that's also just great, and it's cool. And it's what I'm going for. So, make the most of your new skill. The other won't come so cheaply. If you care to put your skills to the test, there's a spirit shrine nearby. Just the place for you to prove your metal. Our paths will cross again. Till then, keep your blade at the ready and an eye on the sky. So, there's a rumor of a shrine nearby. Shrines are one of two things. There are two types of shrines, rather. There are ones which are combat challenges, and you get a reward at the end. Usually, like whether it be a health upgrade, energy upgrade, some of that ore, or a spirit shard. Or, they're basically speedrun challenges of get from point A to get point B as quickly as you possibly can. And those are stinking fun, let me tell you. So now have to equip you right here no no wrong button so uh yeah I like that ability it also basically just unlocks the downward smash the stomp thing which was an entire upgrade on its own before but now it's just no nah, you just do that and it creates a big aura of effect, and it's just this big sweeping hammer that you just smash stuff with. And it's great! <laughs> and it ended up becoming, like, one of my, my main combat choices for the game. Something I use time and time and time again. Oh yeah, so this is the end result of that speedrun thing I was just talking about. So this is like the point you're trying to reach when... Oh, I just lost my train of thought. This is the point you're trying to reach once you find the place to start that trial. We one hand stand, one hand, Ori is a beast. And Ori can jump from that. Ori can jump from a handstand with one hand. 
Can you do that? I can't do that. You want you want to go? Yeah, thanks for dying for me. Oh yeah, how about this? We I like this game. Um Okay, so that's something that can only be broken from the other side. I'm pretty sure this piece of music is called Overlooking the Mill, which is the thing in the background there. I'm not positive about that, but I'm pretty sure. I can't quite get up that high yet. Um, and I just went the wrong way. No, I can get up here. I was mistaken. Okay, so I can't get this. I just have to be careful about how many times I swing around. Or I can just let myself smack into it and not worry about it. That works too. Oh, mosquito. Hello, mosquito. You know what I do to mosquitoes? I squash them. Or I slash them with a sword made of pure light. Either one works. We Moki saw where the little owl fell. Near the home we left behind. Silent woods. Scary woods. No, they actually are legitimately disturbing. I kid you not. Silent Woods is actually horrifying. They built it up throughout the entire game. They did a good job. Oh, poor little Koo. So sad and lonely and scared. Qualock is kind. Qualock can help. The gaze of the great Qualock admits only the worthy, or so the legend says. Of course, this isn't Qualock. It's just the statue, huh? Come to think of it, it doesn't have any eyes either. How is it supposed to gaze at anything? Some legend, but... Hey, we drained the area. Oh, I recognize that music. So here's another thing. That's a lay motif of Qualock's theme from later in the game. Also, hello, dangerous falling explodey enemy. I 
I love lay, lay motifs. You know what else I like? Upgrades. What is this one? The Spirit Arc. I thought it might be that one. So, uh, this is literally a bow of light. I hope you like that. Because I think it's pretty neat. It's not as good of a combat ability as you might think it would be. But it is good for solving puzzles. Like, uh, that. Nope, I didn't hit it. There we go. Like that. Hello, thing. I just found you on accident. Now, how do I get back up? I have to ride it up. There we go. So yeah, this is used primarily for hitting switches, like so. Although, I mean, like, technically it can be used for combat. I just typically don't, or didn't in my first playthrough. Because it's not actually as good as you might think. I don't remember what that is. Oh, it's one of the eyes. It's one of that which I am looking for. Sposs the mosquito. Get out of here. Moss quitto. I want to quit facing the moss quitto. I like this game. This is good game. This is this is a game that I highly recommend to people. If you have a Nintendo Switch or another console this is on or just a really good computer in particular, play this game. It makes me think of like uh something Aztec related or Mayan or something like that. Wallach's Hollow. Oh, hey, it's a guy. Hello, gro guy, bro, man, Twilight. Hey, oh, the glowing stranger my customers speak of with such awe. Oh. Tell me, is it usual for your kind to fall from the sky? I have met many curiosities on my travels, after all. Oh, yes. Some fall, some fly, some prowl, some slither. But all our customers, you see, just customers you want spirit shards. And this guy sells you shards or upgrades for shards. Very useful. Very. Kind of. <laughs> Sometimes. So like extra energy, extra life, extra damage to flying enemies, 10% chance to deal some bonus damage. Swap maximum life and energy, which can be very useful if you want it. Overcharge. Reduces energy costs by 50% and include increased damage taken by 100%. None of those are good. Ah, you met the Feathered Traveler. Not yet a customer. No, no. He doesn't quite agree with my way of appreciating such ancient temples, you see. But what a waste it would be, leaving my dazzling shards to lie, useless and forgotten. Even so, I grow weary of that. Perhaps I will find some place to set up a proper shop. Some place less... dick. Care to refine your spirit shards? Perhaps, what do you got? Uh, you can pay to upgrade that. Or those. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my spirit stuff for now. Well, I might come back for you later. Perhaps. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so I definitely recognize the music and I know we're close to good stuff. Okay? Okay? Trust me on that. I firmly believe we're close to good stuff because I do recognize the music from a thing. Mm -hmm. You are a spirit, yes. I have seen your ghost. No, it is true. There is a place where the ghost spirits run and play. I tried to erase them once, but I am not so fast. This is what I was talking about. This is that speedy, speedy Gonzalez race the thing. And you have to be quick. Those things can be hard. Some of them are actually really easy and not a big deal. And then you have others that are legitimately challenging. Yeah, I, I know where we are. And I know it's coming up before too long. Just because I recognize the lay motif. This part isn't on the soundtrack, but the full version of the song is. That's intimidating looking. Looks like a giant mouth. Not that I can get up to it yet. Wait, no, no, I don't want to go that way. That's poison water. That's poison water. I don't want to do that. That is not helpful to me yet. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to deactivate you to get over there. No, 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 get me out of the poison water. Fine. Yes, Ori is definitely a little acrobat. More so in this game than in the previous one. I can't get up to that. Oh yeah, I remember something to do with this. Yeah, yeah. I had to do like a block pushing puzzle. It involves activating these in a certain order. Or he is very talented. Ori is canonically a male. Pretty sure. That's right, that's why I'm getting confused. That's why I'm getting the controls mixed up. This was usually on B. And this was on... Mm -hmm. X was like the multi-tool. This is what I would typically press for that. Yeah, okay. I was getting mixed up a little bit. Speaking of getting things mixed up, I got mixed up what goes when, and where, and how. Mm hmm. Oh, come here. Oh. That is not what was wanted. Get up over there! I pushed you too far first time. That failed. No, I shouldn't do that. Come here. 
Come thou hither. Just don't cross me, big block. Okay, now we do this. We get you over there, and then we turn off that. And now that can extend for it. And now that pushes the button, which opens this. Hi, Esty. Are you coming to say hello? Esther came to say hello. Hello, Esther. Oh, and then she went by. It was a quick hello. And now I can't see what you guys are saying because someone's in the way. Oh, yeah, you see the right side of the screen here is left. Uh, well, actually, you got the left side shows what upgrades you have, and the right side shows what bosses you fought. I just think it's kind of neat. I don't think so. Get out of here. Esther, you can't keep on walking back and forth in front of everything. It's not exactly a useful thing, it's just a nice little aesthetic thing. Get out of here. Are oh, you still alive? Get out of here. Now you're not alive. Okay, I just did that prematurely. Yes, hydration! Well done, Tosi! This is accurate! I just hydrated a minute ago. Don't y'all forget to hydrate as well. No, that's where I need to go, though. Let me up. Let me up. There we go. Now the door is open. Mm, but you will survive without food longer than you will survive without fluid. No, no, don't, don't kill me, please. Thank you. I hope these stone frogs don't mind me repeatedly shooting them in the eye. Okay, wait, what was the whole point of all that? Did I get anything down there? Hey Rusty, good to see you. I hope you're doing well today, my friend. Glad to have you here. How's it going? I'm going back over here because I'm confused. Why did I come down here? What was the point of all this? It just I feel like I just looped around for no reason.
No, that's what I was missing. No, no, I did that. Did I? Did I do this? I did that. Not too much. Just trying to figure out why the hey I just made that loop. Uh, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, I bet the switch up top had something to do with it. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. Just enjoying this fantastic game and trying to figure out when the best time to switch over to uh, Monster Sanctuary would be. I'm not doing it quite yet. I'm not ready to give this up. Not quite yet. Okay, I, I, that's what it was. I lowered the, the liquid. I lowered the poison. I will take that extra maximum energy. Get out of here with that. I told you. Get on out. And if you did not willingly, I was going to make you. And I did. So there. Also, hello, map maker. Make me a map. I need the bass ability before I can do that. Bye. Where am I? Oh, I'm near one of the rumor things. Yeah, yeah, this thing. See, so yeah, where's the end result? Stuff there. I don't know. Where, where does this go? I don't know if I want to do this right now. This is because I don't know where it goes. And I don't know if I actually can. Oh, wait, no, this is the end result. That's right. The other point is where you start from. Oh, hello. I forgot about you. This is a boss fight. A very minuscule boss fight. But I gotta beat this, uh, the beetle. I beat the beetle. Didn't take too much. I saw a spirit tree off to the right. Look, there's one right there. I see those leaves. I'm coming for those leaves. another one of those bugs over there, but I want this. Remember when I said that you get mobility abilities much faster in this game? There is Dash already. And I like it better than the other, the Blind Forest version. Because you do a tumble through the air. And I like it. Also, Zergi, do you recognize the music now? Is 
There's another good upgrade we're getting soon. Do you recognize the music now that we've gotten that upgrade? The music progressively changes as you get up, as you progress through this area. And there's one more upgrade we're getting before long. Well, if you remembered it, you'd know what upgrade is coming next. Let me tell you that much. I love the soundtrack, too. It was in the running for best music in a game this year, but it did not win. It's okay, dear one. I'll take that. She does need food. Are there really 58? That seems like more than it looks like. Are you sure? Ow. It really is 58, and that's a lot. Oh yeah, how about this? Here's another little detail. You dash to the thing, and then Ori swings around it because of the momentum. I like it. Hey, buddy. Hello there. Welcome to Qualok's Hollow. Here we sit in the domain of the great Qualok, Guardian of the Moss. Thanks to his care, why, things have hardly changed around here since the decay came. The decay is terrifying. Care to purchase a map of the Big Toad's abode for 100 spirit light? Much obliged. Thank you, buddy. Where is the upgrade? There's the upgrade over there. Over there be the thing that I want. Um, how do you open them? Oh. Ow. Well, that bug just died. I'll just sneak by real quick and grab that. Quick shot. Attack more rapidly with that. Which is cool. I know that there's a really good combination of things for the spirit shot thing. The bow. That, like, actually turns it into, like... Might as well be a Gatlin gun at that point, but I've never actually used that. Just because I wasn't a huge fan of it for combat. I don't think I can get that quite yet.
Now. Um. I need to get up there. There we go. Foods are good. Y'all need foods. Now I can go this way. And do this. Into the thing that looks like an angry elephant's mouth with really sharp teeth. Like, am I wrong? It looks like an angry elephant with sharp teeth. To me. Hello, save point. Oh yeah, this thing. This is a boss fight. That's right, you have to constantly go around behind it and smack this side. Honestly, this is such a good piece of music. It's a shame that this is the only time it's used in the game. And it's such a minor boss, too. But it sound, it's such good music. Now, I would honestly say that this is one of my favorite pieces of music in the game. It's so intense, too. Don't mind me, you just need to not die here. There we go. It is ugly, but it's a good boss. It's a cool looking boss, I'd even say. Thanks, friends. Oh, hey, look, I can't go up that way. Oh, hey, look, there are a lot of those glowing lantern things around. Oh, hey, look, the only way to go is down towards a spirit tree. Oh, hey, look, lots of particle related things. I wonder what upgrade we might be getting next. The bass. This is another reason why I love this game so much, okay? First ability you get, pure combat, allows you to defend yourself. Second one, double jump. Third one, the dash. Fourth one, this. And that's not even counting the the spirit shards or the different weapons you can get. Also, 
This song is called Dassing and Bassing. Bassing. All right, Zergy, sounds good. This be easier. No. I'm testing to see if that's a good uh, button implication. I will be still streaming for a little while, Tracy, so I'll see you after you have eaten the good foods. So, yeah, you get the two, like the two best abilities in the entire game so early on, and it's great. Like this game puts a high, uh, significant importance on uh, getting around, and I love that. We'll be coming back here later. Even one of the next upgrades we'll be getting is still uh, a mobility thing. Like, mobility isn't everything, of course, but it sets a big thing in this game, and I love that, because if you know me, or have been around long enough and paid enough attention, you'll probably realize I love mobility in games and being able to get around easily, more so than you actually could in real life. And being able to do things like this... Like, like, like this is awesome. And it's so much fun. And it's so cool. And it's great. This is not what I'm meaning to do. Let me get up there, please. If I may. trying to figure out how to get up here. What's the best angle for that? There we go. Got it. Now, Ori and the Blind Forest, I didn't go and collect everything in. This one, I'm far more likely to go and collect everything in. Still not a guarantee. So, don't hold me to that, necessarily. But... If it was between the two, this is the one that I would actually do so in. Wait, what, what do you want? What do you got? Ah, you have that. I will take that. That's a lot of bubbles. Hi, buddy. 
good to see ya. Lord of the Skila. Hark! A spirit in my boss. So the Loki are right. I want to believe. No more been so long. I am Kordok, and you are welcome in my Mars, little one. Moki, Moki tell me you seek your friend. Howlet, she fell too far to the east. Yeah, she's still sad and alone, and scared. She has every right to be scared. She's more A silent woods hold her now. Absolutely terrifying silent woods that I despise. There is a reason why. Well, owls are no more. Yeah, they're just a. Uh, it's a graveyard of stone skeletons that aren't fully skeletons, and it's creepy. It's like half decayed stone things, and I hate it. Once the waterway let behind me led there, but it's impassable or something. There is one way out. The wellspring to the west, a great water mill sits silent. Were you to set its wheels in motion, the waters would flow clear once more. I would accompany you, but the Moki need me. I can give you something, however. A fragment of the ancient light that once brightened these wilds. Oh hey, that's right, there is a sign-like thing in this game. Just not a combat-related one, but a companion. I forgot about that. Always be your guide through this perilous land. Uh, I am the voice of the forest. It has been a long time since I last saw your kind. A long time since I last left the marsh. But I will do my best. The wellspring needs us. I am not girl. I cannot attempt to replicate that voice. Yes. Go to the wellspring and teach its waters to flow again. Okay. Good plan. Good plan, buddy boy. Okay, so this um. Oh, hi friends. Oh, thank you. They activate thing for me. How oh, nice. Oh. All right there. Nope, not quite. There we go. There we go. We're safe now. We're good. So now, we get to go to my favorite area in the entire game. Not for items or battles or upgrades or anything like that, but for just plain old character and good music. You are not a Moki. I can tell. Your ears are too floppy. I notice things, like this map I found. I would give it to Lupo, the map maker, but he has enough maps. I should give it to the one who wanders. I hear he used to love maps. Maybe he would love this one? Could you give it to him? I saw him up in the Wellspring Glades. Cool. Oh yeah! There's a trading side quest in this game. I forgot about that. Pulling from Zelda a little bit there, are ya? Hello thing. I need that thing. Cool. 
I got the thing. Those are some nasty looking spikes. They look like teeth. Hey, who tore down my wall? This area is the best. Listen to the peaceful music. Come on over. Let's get a closer look at you. All right, Tosi. Thanks for hanging out. Glad to see you. Get some good rest. I'll catch you again soon. Have a good one. It's pleasant music. The Wellspring Glades are the single best area in the game. In my personal opinion. They're just so pleasant and peaceful and charming. And hello. Ah, greetings. I see you've made it to the Glades, spirit. I don't suppose your journeys have taken you in the direction of the Wellspring yet. Rumors of an old library there have roused my interest. Might do some exploring of my own. Perhaps I'll see you there? Welcome back, Zergi. What panel? Care to hone your skills? Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, the fast travel thing is good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that because that's worthwhile. Uh, allows you to teleport to any save spirit well thing you visited in the past, and oh, warp there yeah. instantly. There's a limit on what I can teach you. After all. I cannot teach you what I do not know. That's well, I've heard of a place with some knowledge. Ancient spirit knowledge. The entrance is said to be barred to all but the most observant. Good luck. Thanks. Say, what's that paper you got there? Oh. Those crisp dotted lines, that bold X, that's a treasure map. Here, I'll swap you my wanderer's pouch for it. Something tells me I'll be needing a bigger bag. I got a quest item, yay. I didn't dare hope the rumors were true, but here you are. Nywin is home to a spirit once more. You made quick work of the wall there. Guess my building skills aren't what they used to be. Still, I made a promise I would provide refuge from the decay here. The glades are counting on me, spirit. But without ore, I feel I will let them down. The materials I needed were abandoned when my kind fled to the mines. And without the proper supplies, well, my dream of a haven might end before it has even begun. Mm -hmm. Except I can help you out, buddy. This is what the Golurk Ore is for. I'll get right on that. Now that I'm building again, I can call myself a true Gorluk once more. Very few Gorluk are left, so be wary if you see anyone out there who looks like me. Not all of us. Escape the corruption in time. This is true. There are a lot of enemies that look like him later on. Before our home was swallowed by sand, the spirits saw potential in Gorlok air. They disappeared before they could try what we built them. But now you're back, and that can change. Sure, what else you got? I cannot help you with that now. Better to take your time than regret a hasty decision, eh? So yes, this this is good game. This is best area of the game. This area, you explore it. People are here. You interact with them. You do various side quests, and as you go along, you help improve the area, make it nicer, unlock more things, and just it's good. It's legitimately really good, and I like it a lot, and it's very nice. Except for this guy. I came far to find these glades. It is paradise here for Moki. My family will like it here, but we have no home. The Gorlok Grom knows the building ways. Maybe he can help? I, I... 
That is the worst side quest in the entire freaking game, and you cannot change my mind. Hello again. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to be reading. I'm, I'm getting my throat sore with all the different voices. Oh yeah, you can unlock a triple jump if you have tons and tons of energy. But that's only if you have tons and tons of energy. Hello! I came here from the marsh because I heard the glades are beautiful. They are beautiful, but the light here is so bright. Not like the gloomy marsh. That is why I am hiding in the shade. If I had a hat like that funny one over there... But I do not. Hats are pretty great. Hey buddy. I missed this guy for a while. I can hardly believe it. I'm talking to a real spirit in Nywin. You're smaller than I thought up close. Oh, but so bright. I myself prefer to blend in. It's not safe out there, you know. Luckily for you, I've been watching your every move. Just to make sure you're alright, of course. And he keeps... A basically, this is the stat guy in the game. He keeps a record of everything you've done. Total deaths, percent is completed, jumps, wall jumps, just everything. Absolutely everything throughout the entire game. Anything you could possibly want to know, he tells you. But, uh, yes. This is where I'm going to stop for today, though. I just wanted to get here, sew it off, since I figured it would was in the, since I figured it was like around the two hour mark or so. And yes, I'm going to do what I always do: pause the stream here. St well, stop it here. Have like a five minute downtime or so, just to switch everything over, take care of a few things, and then I will be back with more Monster Sanctuary. So. Y'all hold tight, won't take me too long, and I will be back shortly. Also, thank you for watching this far.